What's up everyone, back for another non-alcoholic beer review and the beer I'm reviewing today once again comes from The Athletic Brewing Company and they're out of both Stratford, Connecticut and San Diego, California and this is their All Out Extra Dark. So this is a non-alcoholic American stout that comes in at less than 0.5% alcohol by volume, 15 IBUs at the time of review. This can is just under three months old. So we have another non-alcoholic beer from Athletic. I did their um, Oktoberfest, which it was a solid non-alcoholic beer, but uh, didn't really taste like an Oktoberfest. And then recently I reviewed their uh, Free Wave Hazy IPA, which was a really good Hazy IPA. I like the bitterness in that one, although maybe not proper for the style. It was a really good non-alcoholic IPA. So I wanted to grab a dark beer from them. And this is the one that I picked up because it was relatively fresh. Now on the side of the can here, it says an epically bold and extra dark brew. All out is an adventure. All all its own. I was going to say all on its own. All its own. Uh, it has a silky full-bodied mouthfeel and pleasantly toasty finish with delicate notes of coffee and a bitter sweet chocolate. On the days you've given your all, it's a go-to brew to grab, relax, reset, and then reach for another. 90 calories for this 12 fluid ounce can. Uh, carbohydrates, 21 grams. Protein, 1 gram. And fat, 0 grams. Ingredients, water, organic Vienna malt, malted barley, oats, wheat, hops and yeast so there we go let's crack this one open and get it into the glass so you know i've only had one dark beer and it was a kind of like a pastry stout chocolate milk pastry stout from uh uh untitled art it was pretty damn good so hoping that this one uh kind of is what i'm looking for in a non-alcoholic stout which is you know I, I want the body they say full bodied we'll see about that um you know the one thing about these non-alcoholic beers since they don't have you know alcohol in them a lot of times it just feels like they missed the mark on the body uh, to some degree and even the mouthfeel usually a, a quite thin and watery so that looks beautiful that looks like some kind of an american stout i mean it's uh basically dark brown on camera it's gonna look pitch black if you hold it up to the light yeah it's more of like a deeper I don't know if you're gonna see how it reflects off the glass, but like a deeper, darker brown. Um, has about a finger of the straight up brown, super creamy looking head. Uh, yeah, looks looks like a honestly looks like a normal stout. So let's get a nose. And it smells like a normal stout. Yeah, there's a a lot of rich. They say bittersweet chocolate on the can. This is more like a Hershey's uh, milk chocolate. Pretty sweet chocolate. A little bit of like a roasty, toasty kind of um coffee but there isn't kind of an off note it almost is and they're using oats in here it almost has like an oatmeal kind of smell to it maybe they're just using so many oats probably for that like silky smooth kind of body you're looking for that it's kind of um a lot of times when uh, breweries use uh, oats in like an oatmeal stout or nowadays they use them in all the hazy ipas basically because it gives you that nice silky creamy smooth um mouthfeel they probably are using so many and since it's not alcoholic beer i'm actually picking up on the oats themselves which is rare for me but yeah, it has that oaty kind of, like you, you have a bowl of oatmeal in front of you, or like a hand of just, just oats, and it's just like, yeah, that's what it smells like. A little bit of like a roasty, toasty kind of malt quality. Really no distinctive kind of hop bitterness or, or like uh, hop character, like no, no earthiness or anything like that. Yeah, chocolate to the sweeter side of things, a little bit of coffee. Those oats are definitely prevalent. And then a roasty, toasty kind of malt sensation. It smells pretty good. That, um slight non-alcoholic uh, aroma that I get in a lot of other non-alcoholic beers is kind of there. But again, I think it might be the oats kind of playing with that. But yeah, it smells pretty good. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The one thing I'll say, this to me is drinking right now, based on the flavors, a little bit like a oatmeal milk stout in my mind. Body on this one, they say full body, it's not for me. And I'll probably never have a non-alcoholic beer that's actually full bodied, right? But this has a nice firm medium body. It's it's definitely not thin and watery like so many of these can be, so I appreciate that. The mouthfeel, it's a little bit more um, silky smooth on the palate. There's a touch of like a creaminess. It's softer. Definitely has carbonation. It's like under moderately carbonated, but it, it has kind of the mouthfeel I'm looking for. And again, this was like a six, six and a half percent American stout or like oatmeal stout or oatmeal um, milk stout or just a milk stout. I would be fine with the body. The taste. Every time I go back, I get a little bit of that non-alcoholic off flavor. And I only call it an off flavor because it's not something I notice ever in like regular beers. And it just has like this tinge of like, 
I don't know. It's like a slightly different sweetness that I don't get in um, regular beers. I, it's hard to describe. I feel like you have to try this to understand what I'm saying. But um, outside of that, like right at the front of the floor, the front of the palate, it's roasty, it's toasty, um, all character. Uh, there's chocolate, like I said, sweeter, not as sweet in the nose, not quite bitter. I could see a bitter, like a 40 or 50% cacao bar, a little bit of sweetness, right? That's what I'm getting, and it's like milk chocolate. A uh, little underlying uh, coffee notes as well. As it passes through the oatmeal that I was talking about, I definitely get on the palate. It's not as big and uh, intense as it was in the nose, but it's definitely noticeable to some degree. And then on the second half of the palate, I get this slight earthy kind of almost dirty copper coin metallic kind of uh, note. And that's why I said this reminds me of an oatmeal milk stout. So many milk stouts, I don't know, it has to be the lactose. But a lot of times in the nose, I'll get a metallic vibe. And then sometimes it carries over in the taste. And that's what happened here is in the taste, I'm getting the metallic note. Didn't get in the nose, which is kind of rare, but it almost kind of, the vibe I'm getting from this one is an oatmeal milk stout, but it's not. It's 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 definitely, an. you could call this an oatmeal, not alcoholic oatmeal stout. You're really good because there's oats in it. It finishes, um, there's not a lot of bitterness here. This has like a almost semi-dry kind of finish. It leans a little bit sweet, but it's not cloying. Like this beer is not super sweet. A lot of these can be sweet. A lot of times I haven't had the bitterness to kind of balance it out. I wouldn't say this is balanced. This leans like 60-40 to the sweet side of things as opposed to the bitterness or dryness. Uh, but it's definitely not cloying. Like I easily drink this can and I could session this. Like it's not overly sweet. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I mean, it's 0.5% or less. So, you know, I can't tell there's any alcohol in here because there's basically not very small uh, amount. It's good. It's good. Stylistically for a non-alcoholic stout, this is pretty good. Do How much... Let's write it like this. If I wanted a fix of a stout, just an American stout or an oatmeal stout, something in that realm, and I picked this one up and I was like, I'm not going to drink alcohol today or, you know, I'm, I'm going to be dry for a couple weeks and I want something to kind of wet my whistle and kind of, you know, keep me content because I'm not drinking any beer. Would this do? Yeah, it would. To me, this is not amazing. It's not anything spectacular. But if you pick this one up looking for a non-alcoholic stout, I don't think you'll be all that surprised. Which brings me to, I need to review I do a side by side of Guinness's uh, regular draft in you know the nitro cans and then the non alcoholic version because a lot of people say the non alcoholic Guinness is really good in comparison to the regular one like it definitely mimics it to some degree we'll see if that's the case this though uh, all out extra dark from Athletic again I rate these to how I feel the you know overall how much I'm enjoying them not how much I'm enjoying them as a non alcoholic beer so I'll do two ratings because I've been doing this a little bit as a non alcoholic stout this is pretty fucking good like I think they've almost nailed it so I'm gonna give this stylistically as a non-alcoholic style this is like a four or five four point six like a high four or five out of five they, they've done a great job with this I'm not gonna lie for personal preference I'm gonna go low four I'm gonna go 3.95 why because I can I mean this beer itself right here right here this beer that you know I'm holding up like this for the thumbnail this beer um yeah check it out if you like non-alcoholic beers and you want something that's a little bit darker because I see a lot of the non-alcoholic beers are to you know they're pal lagers and American lagers and their IPAs and so on pick this up if you want a darker beer price point availability availability I don't know exactly what their distro is but you can buy them on their website I don't know where they exactly uh you know ship to but this was $13.99 a six pack on their website I picked this one up locally just over two bucks I think a six pack was like 13 bucks so a little bit cheaper here than it was on their website but let's say let's say around 13 to 14 bucks for a, a six pack of that I think that's fine for a non-alcoholic beer especially of this quality if you want something to kind of hold you over if you're not drinking I think it's great it's honestly it's a pretty good value for what it is but uh anyway yeah not much more to say about this one. So if you've had it before, post in the comment section. Let me know what you uh, thought about this one. And here's a question I'll pose to anybody who watches to the end like I typically do. Uh, if you if you are into non-alcoholic beers, what is your favorite darker non-alcoholic beer that you've had to this point? I've only had two, and they've both been really good. I think maybe the darker beers do a better job of hiding the flaws of some of these uh, non-alcoholic beers. And I think that actually works for me, uh, because I feel, you know, with like a, a light lager or something that's like, you know, uh, supposed to mimic like a Pilsner, I think it's a little bit harder to probably hide the uh, off the off notes of these non-alcoholic beers, and I think the darker beers don't have that issue. So anyway, again, if you've had this one before, post the comments section. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol, although it was a non-alcoholic beer review. Till the next one. Cheers.